And welcome back, everyone, to the week of who would win. This one comes to us from Epicity, who asked the question, who won a fight? DC's Jinx versus Charmcaster from Ben 10. Now, if you're confused by the image of Jinx and you know her from the Teen Titans, you're not alone. I actually was surprised. I didn't know this is what the actual comic version of Jinx looked like. I was used to the one on Teen Titans, the one with the pink hair, kind of gothy looking, um, kind of the counter to Raven on there, on the... Um, uh, I can't remember what they were called. The hive side, that was it. Uh, but, yeah, no, this is apparently more what she looks like. And I'm like, hey, I mean, whatever whatever appears works for you. Um, regardless, both are spellcasters. Both are sorceresses, magicians, what have you. Uh, both have multiple different forms of spells that they can rely on. However, there's a few subtle differences here. One, magic-wise... Um, Charmcaster is drawing on from mana in the in the environment, in the universe, similar to what Gwen does. So, technically, she's never without mana, but she can be tired out to the point where she can't channel mana properly. Also, she, while she is skilled, she is deli she is basically in a very inexperienced and compared to someone like Hex, her uncle, the voodoo-looking guy who uh, we first got introduced to when we saw her. So, she's, she's certainly not infallible by any stretch of the mean. Uh, likewise, there are some subtle differences here, particularly in one style, because more or less, I'm not going to go over like the types of spells these characters can do, because it's more, it's basically, they can, they're kind of one and the same in what they're capable of doing, save for one specific thing. I think Charm Guest, first off, is maybe just a little bit more variety in what you can do, but less potency. And Jinx, at least on the show, was known, and her bread and butter was probability manipulation, aka making hence the hence the name jinx because you know jinx is you make bad luck happen well probability probability manipulation you can more or less do that as well so it's she's definitely has a leg up on charmcaster because i don't know if charmcaster had probability manipulation i don't believe she did and if she did it was on a minor scale so probability manipulation yeah uh, that that's one thing jinx has over also, just, I think, a better control over her powers. At least the way she's depicted in this image here. She seems to be older than Charmcaster, even at the oldest we saw her in the series. So she clearly has more experience uh, than Charmcaster, at least in terms of the grand scheme of comics and all that. I would, If I were to say who, how this fight would go down, these guys are probably going after some sort of mystical relic or artifact. Should also know Charmcaster does have, like, a bag of holding, a magical, literally a bag of holding to pull out, like, magical artifacts. So that does give her an edge over Jinx in that sense, but Jinx's probability manipulation can kind of just counter that by screwing with the bag. But yeah, they're probably going after the same artifact. They probably start throwing out magic and all that. It's really just going to come down to whose magic counters who. And because they more or less have the same power set, it's just it comes down to experience and differences. And with probability manipulation on Jinx's side, I would probably lean towards Jinx in this fight. She, again, had, first off, more experience, has a lot more experience also fighting super-powered individuals. She normally just fights the occasional other magic user like Gwen and Ben. Those are the individuals she's normally fighting. But, but Jinx, I mean, if, let's just look at the Teen Titans show alone. She's constantly fighting the Titans. Not to mention she probably trains with her uh, with her team occasionally. And she's fought uh, things uh, people like... Um, the, uh, the, was it the League of Evil or something like that? Uh, the Brain, Madame Rouge, all that. Misha and Mala. Uh, she spot that, she spot them, I know that. And that's just the show. In comics, she's probably fought a lot more individuals. So she's got already some, uh, probably, I think, more potent magic overall. She's also got slightly different magic and probability magic. She has more experience and more experience fighting superpowered beings in general. I'd personally give this to Jinx, but this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'll uh, catch you for the next one tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm pre-recording this, by the way, so technically this is on Monday, but when I say tomorrow, I mean Wednesday. Tomorrow is another Who Would Win, next part of the Naruto What If, and the Q&A, so keep, out, uh, keep your eyes out for that. By the way, if you, uh, wanna, if you still want to put a question in for the Q&A, uh, you have until basically mid, like noon on Wednesday. So you can just backtrack, find that video I made. You can put your question in on that video, and we're good to go. We seem to got a lot of long ones this time around, so this should be fun. Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.